What's up guys? So I'm doing my year-end review of the sugar cane. So it's 2018. I really haven't been doing a much of updates this year because it's pretty much the same as last year. Uh, but we got a lot of different growth this year. What you're going to see are these three that I overwintered and I started these last year. You can see how much more growth they have on the second year compared to the first year. So got a bottle of water there so you can really see the difference here. So we got uh, one of them sitting here. Also put my hand in here too, so you can see how much more uh, how much more growth that they got out of this second year plants. So this is the one that did the best, and you can see how much sugar cane's in there, even going all the way up top. It's probably 10 foot tall, going all the way up to the top here. Another one that I overwintered, also did super good, and these are in the the bigger pails. That I had them growing in last year here the 25 gallons or so and i took one of them and i put it just in a five gallon bucket and as you'll see it didn't do as good so not as much growth not as tall kept it watered the same but it's got to be you know how it grew there there's one other one that we overwintered and we actually put it in the ground um and it got some growth but not quite as good as these i'll, I'll cut over to it since I want to keep everything fluid, but this will get you an idea. Here, let me grab this bottle of water here. And you can see that compared to how much bigger these guys got. Now, something super cool. This is the one that did the best and had some growth from last year. And what you'll see here, this here, this is last year's growth. And then this is the overwintering. And then this was this year's growth. So it grew quite a bit this year and it's still growing up there. Um, got another one you can see here, this small part right there. Get some focus there for you. That was overwintering. And then that same one grew up and put off quite a bit of length on it. And then there's one other one in the middle here. And if you look back at some other videos, it's the one that grew the best. It grew last year's growth. And then overwintering and then a lot more growth on that too not as tall it is the tallest one on there but those uh i guess the segments aren't as big as the other ones but it was pretty cool to see that happen i didn't know if it was continue to grow or not and now we know they do continue to grow so we got the growth there and then the last one right here and this was one that we just cut the stubble and then just replanted the whole thing uh, and it grew, you know, new shoots. Actually, there's one in the middle here, too. So this is one that we left. There's the overwinning. And then some new growth this year. So, there's those. These are some other ones that are, these are the first year that I grew from last year. So I kind of chopped up the pieces and planted new ones here. And you're seeing the water bottle there. This one is a fabric pot. This one was a plastic pot and they got almost identical growth on them. Um, again, this is one that I just grew this year. I would say these are comparable to what the plants last year were looking like at this time of year uh, on their first year. And then the second year, again, they grew up to these big ones here. Now these three are ones that I actually started in February. I did a little uh, fabric versus plastic part one just to see what the growth is going to be look like so i'm going to do a separate video of those but you can see they actually grew pretty good for being just in this small little tiny containers here those are like i think one gallon pots fabric pots plastic pots and they grew pretty good and then i have a whole bunch of little ones over here that were all one gallons and uh just grew them from the nodes just to see what they would look like or grow like and they didn't really get as much growth to it but about as much as you can expect out of a one gallon out of there. I uh, also did some other ones too in five gallons. So we have five gallon bucket containers here and they got better growth out of it. And you know, I kind of expected that too. Um, bigger and thicker, bigger, thicker, bigger, thicker. And then got some five gallon fabric ones. I think they actually did better than the five gallon plastic ones. Uh, I'll see if I can get them side by side. 
All right, this is a little bit better comparison here uh, for a side by side. This one is a fabric container. I just let one grow out of there. You can see how thick it is compared to my thumb, compared to the five gallon, how thick it is compared to my thumb. Another five gallon, another five gallon, uh, excuse me, plastic, plastic. And then the fabrics. So the fabrics do do better. So here's the one that we took and we put in directly into the ground. You can see it actually did grow one really nice stock and then a few smaller ones off to the side. So I think the containers actually did better. Um, but they are a lot more maintenance than just throwing it right in the ground here. Uh, this one's not quite as tall, but it is thicker and it got, you know, quite a few. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Probably a couple more of those segments out of there. And then a few smaller ones uh, off to the side. Not sure how good you can see those. But the ground definitely works, but I think the containers are going to be better. I think that'll really do it for my 2018 review of growing sugar canes in plastic containers. Second year plants definitely do a lot better than first year plants. And I think that's just in general for sugar cane. So again, second years, first years. So maybe those first years will turn into here, but I don't know if I'm gonna overwinter all five or how much I'm gonna overwinter. Maybe just one so I can replant some uh, for next year, but really happy with how they did. And uh, can be cold, we're done with the growing season. So that's just the last update for it. Thanks for checking out these videos, guys.